Happy Friday, everyone. Uh, thank you, as always, for joining me and for continuing to send me all of the amazing questions and insights uh, that you have sent thus far. So I start my video with the attitude of gratitude, and that's not going to change. So thank you to you guys. Um, we are going to change Fridays up uh, for good uh, based on you and your needs and uh, the feedback that I have been getting. And we are going to change Fridays to Friday feelings um, because up until this point, I've kept you really task driven on what you can be doing to move forward and plot your next move and all really tactical task driven things uh, because idle hands are the devil, devil's hands. And um, but for, on Fridays, we're going to stop and pause and be kind to ourselves and talk about the emotional component of job loss um, because it is a loss and you do go through the stages of grief, the five stages of grief, um, however you, you go through them. It's a roller coaster of a time and I have a couple things I want to go over with you today on um, some do's and don'ts um, as uh, we go through this because believe it or not it is a we beginning of this month, I too um, went through a reduction in for force and a layoff. Um, so when I say you are not alone in point number one, uh, understanding that you are not alone, you are truly not alone. And three and a half million unemployment claims are a testament to that as well. From 200,000 to over three million, um, you need to understand uh, that you are not alone. And in a time like this, um, especially with um, stay-at-home orders and shelter in place uh, the it's really easy to isolate and so in a time where you need to understand that you're not alone uh, you need to really be careful not to isolate yourself so step number one is understanding you're not alone and then don't isolate pick up that phone get on get on a video conference with someone um, engage as much as you can um, whether it be via video or phone call or with your family um, the important part is knowing you're not alone and then not isolating um, and then the second thing is to focus on what you can control and that's what we've been doing up to this point is giving you things that you can control um, because you know job loss is not something that you can and um, and that's okay right so we're gonna focus on what we can control and it's one foot in front of the other and one day at a time and even if you can only control one thing in one day um, that's okay um, we need to be kind to ourselves um, during these times uh, and uh, what you do now um, shapes uh, how you respond shapes everything as you move forward you know I chose this time <laughs> really bad timing, I guess, to, you know, start a consulting firm uh, with my layoff. Um, but I'm navigating my way through that, and uh, just as you are. And so during this time, my third point is self-reflection is paramount. It is critical, um, but it needs to be focused on, the self-reflection needs to be focused um, on constructive uh, things. So asking yourself, you know, what did you contribute at your last organization that you're proud of? Um, what was your favorite part of what you did and how you contributed? And what can you learn? Um, all focused on um, positivity. We have to be able to take the things that we're most proud of, most grateful for in the opportunities that we had, and, and then be able to highlight those, whether it's on your resume, whether it's talking about those things, whether it's journaling them. Um, it's going to be crucial that in this the time of self-reflection um, that again you're kind to yourself and you keep it positive and then um, I love the say, saying fake it till you make it and Aristotle said we are what we repeatedly do excellence then is not an act but a habit so the fake it till you make it for me works um, because I understand that the loss of a job at the core of it is this feeling of rejection um, and it's really easy to get consumed by those negative emotions um, and you know starting a consulting firm in the middle of COVID-19 um, you know that could easily swallow me whole um, and so I want you to focus on the good things I have um, this great audience that is is engaging with me and um, fake it till you make it you put on that smile you focus on the positive things you take it one day at a time and one step at a time 
and that's gonna that's gonna help turn turn this whole thing around for you. And the last thing is to start and end each day with gratitude. Um, it, it's a it was a game changer for me, um, and I know it will be a game changer for you. And even if it's the simplest of things, um, farm fresh eggs for breakfast because I live on a, a farm. Um, no matter what it is, start and end your day with gratitude. That's why I open every video with gratitude. Um, because it makes all the difference in the world when you can focus on the good. Um, so uh, Friday Feelings is going to be our new jam, and I'll see you here on Monday, and I want you to enjoy uh, every minute of your weekend.